I want to go little free library hunting, so let's go little free library hunting. So I really miss little free library hunting, but it's currently winter and even though the sun is out right now, the wind is quite strong. So that's why I'm in my car. So I'm going to be driving to a bunch of little free libraries today and dropping off some books. I want to see what some of them have. So I want to show you the selection as well. Come along with me and check out some of these little free libraries. But first let's check off some of the necessities. I have water. I just hit my nose. I have a very diluted chai, which I'm going to try to drink this as fast as I can. That's like pure milk. So that's not even good. I might do some car reading later. I have honey girl with me. I might do some car journaling so i have a ow i have a guided journal let's grab some of the books out of my trunk it's not organized but it's alive so these are some of the books that i have with me currently that are quite messy so i'm just gonna grab some and put these in a little free library so which one should i grab first i think i'm gonna grab this one this is the outfit so awkward. <laughs> hello, hello. I hope you didn't miss voice over me too much, but I'm back. So, I'm not going to lie, this little free library kind of overwhelmed me. But I had a thought when I first opened this, and you know how sometimes little free libraries are a little chaotic in a way where it seems like it's the owner's, like, owned little thrift shop? I feel like this one is one of them. It just seems like a place where if the owner doesn't want it in their house, they will just shove it in their own little free library. Like there's a bunch of mass paper bags, a bunch of random books that I feel like are really outdated. Even though I'm saying a lot of these books are way past its time, I did end up finding something that was interesting. So I guess it was all in faith. Does that make sense? I guess it was all in due time. Okay, I know that one doesn't make sense. Anyways, I say it all the time, but I'm going to say it again. It looks like I'm making a mess, but I promise you, I always clean up after I finish with the little free library because I would never leave it as a mess. I just need to kind of put things around just so I can really see the back because sometimes there's hidden gems. Like I've found some of my favorite books in the back of little free libraries before, but this one I did not, but I just wanted to double check. But I promise you, I clean up and I filmed it so you'll see it really, really soon. I feel like Sarah Dessen is a really popular author. A lot of people say like they grew up with this author in like high school or middle school, but I always see this book here. Like this book is never picked up and I don't have an interest in it. So that's why I don't pick it up, but it's always here, even though Sarah Dessen is a really popular author. So this is when I got bored of this little free library. So I start cleaning things up and packing up to go. Just like that, we're at somewhere new. I think driving is such a time saver, but I do miss walking in the sun, but it is a little chilly. <clears throat> I promise you, if I took two more seconds to open this little free library, I would have left. You know what's a hilarious story? I donated that book to a little free library down the road like a couple weeks ago and it ended up here. But could it be like a very freaky coincidence? Maybe, but I'm pretty sure it's the same book. And like, how did it end up here? I don't know, but that's just like hilarious. That's why I keep on pulling it out because I'm pretty sure it's the same book, like same broken spine. And I just think it's so funny that like it ended up here. I don't know if the owner of the free little library that 
I donated to was like, mm, no, get this away from me and then donated to this one. Or if it was just like a really cool story of like a reader donating it and like reading it and then putting it here. And it's like the true story of how a book travels. Another one and no bias but this one's my favorite jump scare for all my students out there but there's a bunch of textbooks in here I did not expect that when I opened this but whoever did a whole dump of medical books in here they did not want to deal with that anymore they said I graduated get this out of my way and that's exactly what they did to this little free library or it could be a student in this home because they said I don't want this anymore I'm graduated I am a nurse I am a CNA I am a doctor now I actually don't know what these books are I just saw like something RMA I have no idea what I'm talking about Something I do know is books though, so I start looking at the books, but it's really hard because all these textbooks are really heavy and they're weighing down all the books, so the only way I could do it is literally put all the textbooks on my thigh and I put the camera aside and I'm just trying to shuffle through these while I'm like putting my thigh up on the stick that holds up the stick, the piece of wood that holds up the tree and these textbooks are balancing on my leg. Once I pull out all the books that I can, I put the textbooks back because there's no way I'm carrying that much on my leg for like 10 minutes. Absolutely not. So I start looking through the little free library as I wish and I pull out this book and I thought that was so funny because I actually donated this book in hardcover to this little free library and then someone took it because they loved it or something. I don't know. I'm just making things up. But then now there's a paperback and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's actually so funny. But first off, we have this fun little TikTok book, which I've heard of the author and I've heard of this book. I think I have one book by this author that I haven't read of, so I'm not picking that up because I still have one book from this author and I don't want to collect books from this author, so that's that. Then I saw this book, which I thought was really, really interesting because the cover is so cute and this book has like a friendship kind of group and like everyone has their own relationship. I love a book that has like a strong female friendship group and then exploring like how everyone does relationship and life differently, but then they're all together and they have each other's back. Then we have this fun little thriller. I feel like I have a lot of thrillers on my TBR and I feel like my phase of thrillers is definitely phasing out. But I saw All the Turtles Down, which I'm so interested in and I'm so excited I found this because now I don't have to buy it. And you won't believe what happened. I do a little flip through and I think it's in perfect condition and then look at that. It's signed. I literally start to freak out because I can't believe it. It's signed and I'm like, oh my gosh, like who donated this? It's signed. But I had to run back to my car because I didn't want to grab any books walking here because I parked so close. So here's me running back and grabbing some books and donating them. I just like to donate a lot of books to this little free library because it's so popular and I know a lot of people visit. So that's why I just brought so many to donate just because I know it's really popular. I thought I cashed in all my luck for the day, but I decided to check one more out just in case. And jump scare again, there's more medical books. But when I got here, I realized that I definitely could have passed on this. I didn't miss out too much because it was kind of chaotic and it was kind of, not going to lie, a bunch of things that I definitely wouldn't have missed. I pulled this out first because I thought it was interesting. It was like a self-published book, but the back didn't really intrigue me that much, so it was definitely a pass. Mm -hmm. 
This book, however, I thought was really interesting because I've definitely seen it before. It's pretty popular and I didn't realize it was a Hulu show, but I was really intrigued by this one. Okay, so that's a wrap on Little Free Library Hunting. Let's jump into the tour. Tour? Let's jump into the hall. So I made it back. Let's get into the hall. I have all my books in this big bag, so, and I just dropped it, but let's get into it. Let's just dump everything out. Let's start with the book that I'm genuinely the most excited for. I got John Green's Turtles All the Way Down. When this book first came out, I was like semi-interested because I had already left my like John Green phase. I was like, oh, that was so high school me. The more like time went on, I was like, oh, people are really loving this book. And I really wanted to read it, but I just like never found myself in a time or space where I picked it. I was really excited for this. And when I flipped through it, I promise it was there. Oh, here it is. It's signed. I literally couldn't believe it. And if you watched my last Little Free Library like vlog, I also got another signed book. So the my luck basically of just getting signed books i'm shocked i'm super excited for this i just feel that it's like a little extra special because it's signed thanks to whoever donated this um special love to ya i hope i enjoy this so next i got nine perfect stranger which i've seen a lot i think it's like a mystery thriller vibe i'm not too sure so if i'm wrong definitely correct me it's about like nine strangers who find themselves on a resort to lose weight but it turns out like the resort is a lot more wicked than they thought it was and they're kind of considering like should we run while we can kind of situation it sounds interesting like truly i'm intrigued it's just a really big book Boom. So next, the first book I actually got was Empress of the World by Sarah Ryan. This is a YA or like younger reader book. It's about a girl, high school level, decides to take a summer class. And I think it's archaeology. Yes. And she went in just deciding this is going to be a summer class. Nothing too wild. It's just going to be a basic bland, something to fill in the time. But she ends up meeting her best friend there. And she feels like she's developing more than like a friendship. It's also about sexuality and identity and exploring and just seeing where you belong at 15 years old. And I feel like that's always like a really good book to read. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the descriptions for all my other social, my Instagram, my TikTok, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.